W. VTR seven double two three thriller only a scream away part one take one. with this, will you? No. I prefer zipping you down to zipping you up. I'm sure I don't know what you mean, Mr. No. Miller. And the hook and eye at the top, please. Done. You're suspiciously good at all that, Rob, my darling. I read a lot, Mrs. Miller. <laughs> oh, Rob. Who do you think could have done that? And the weddings have a strange effect on some people. There's always an idiot that goes too far. Now, come on. Forget it. Hmm? Hope we haven't got paint on Aunt Liza's bedspread. Come in. I've come to borrow Samantha. Samantha, my darling, your presence is required. Jack wants some shots with the bridesmaids, oh. okay? Okay. Look, you go into... I'll be down in a minute. Oh, our first separation. Tom. Hmm? Tom, anything? Well, I've been having a look round, Bob. I'm sure it's none of our crowd. Probably some village joker. Yes, that's what I told Samantha. I'll join you in a minute, yes? Hmm? Oh, no hurry. After all, you've got her for the rest of your life, you lucky devil. I'm only best man for the day. Hmm. And I saw her first. <laughs> hey, watch the paintwork, you vandals. Come in. Not disturbing you, am I, Robert? Aunt Liza, of course not. Now then. How are you going to manage here all by yourself? I mean, this huge house and the farm. I'm terribly capable, Robert. That's why I've never married. Frightened them off. That was because of Samantha you never married. You know, you've given all your life to her. Now you're going to miss her terribly. 
You're not taking her to the moon, are you? I can still see her once in a while, can't I? Anyway, I'm glad to get her off my hands and into such good ones. It's not all fun being father and mother for 20 years to a highly strung girl like Sammy. Aunt Liza, you have done a wonderful job and you know it. Now, don't worry. I'm not worried. At least, I wouldn't be if only... You only what? <laughs> it's just that I can't ever quite forget that her mother and father were killed in a dreadful accident and what a terrible effect it had on her. And I'm a bit of a speed fan myself. Hmm? Well, you're not the slowest driver I've ever met, Robert, and those French roads... Aunt Liza, with Samantha on board, I'll drive like a little old lady on her way to Evensong. How's the house coming? Well, hopefully the alterations will be finished by the time we get back. I'll get the wedding presents over there for you while you're away. No, oh, Aunt Liza, you are a doll. Mm. Thanks. It's perfect. A windmill. I've always wanted a windmill ever since I was a kid. I'll take it. Splendid. And for how long, Mr. Heston? That's hard to say. Depends on how things go. A year, maybe indefinitely. I'm uh, sure you won't regret taking the house, Mr. Heston. <laughs> now, uh, what about domestic help? Get someone from the village to come. I'm a long time bachelor, Mr. Stratford. I like solitude. I can handle most things myself. Almost everything, in fact. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Is that a fair sample of the local scenery? Oh, you're a bit late there, I'm afraid, Mr. Heston. They're just back from their honeymoon. But they bought a house in the village. They'll be neighbors of yours. Good. That's uh, chummy. Uh -huh. Oh, 
thank goodness for that. Must be all that uh, pasta you ate in Venice. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Isn't it wonderful to be home, my darling? Mm. I think I'd better pull those curtains. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Happy homecoming! Tom, oh, you fool! Oh, you frightened me. That's no, quite enough of that, thank you. Uh, best man's privilege, old boy. Oh, well, that covers one chase kiss after the wedding and not a ticket for life. Oh, well, it's not to the show. Happy oh, home! Hi, sir. Oh, Oh, lovely. Oh, darling. Well, if we don't want your cooking breaking up the yeah. marriage first day back. <laughs> 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 we are here to both of you. Here are Sammy. Oh, I love Some for Auntie. Thank you, Thomas. How are Bob? Oh, Tom, thank you. Thank you. Right. Cheers. Well, yes, cheers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Really, Thomas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, what was the weather like? <laughs> the oh, sorry, you'd have no idea, would you? Well. Did you sleep well? Well, I think uh, we should sort of perhaps sorry. Perhaps change on. the subject. More champagne. Let him. Let him. Oh, my dear. What Oh, people are nice, aren't they? Hmm, especially some people. <laughs> oh, do you know I forgot to offer them some wedding cake? Hmm? Well, it's traditional, isn't it? Well, they had some at the wedding. Oh. What is it? Uncle Ben, now, I've always wanted one of those. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh, 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 how about this then? From my partners. Oh, that's good. That's very good. That's a throwing ornament. Every marriage needs a few of those. <laughs> oh, and a toaster. Now, there's a good practical, practical idea. idea. That looks nice. Who's it from? It doesn't say, but it's addressed to me. Just me, in my maiden name. Oh. Mm. Who on earth would send a thing like that? Why? Hmm. For the pitter-patter of tiny fists. There's only one. Curious and curious, I. What's that? That looks like some sort of stain that's never been washed out. And the fingers, they're grubby. It's been worn.
fantastic. It's just like Christmas when I was a little girl. Isn't she sweet? Oh, and him. Isn't he divine? And look at this. And look at that. What on earth did I see in it? Isn't it funny how completely one forgets? All these marvellous things. Look at that. Marbles! I don't think I ever played marbles, did I? my day for opening things. Oh. oh, Liza! This must have been my favourite. What? That? Yes, it was. I thought so. It doesn't seem to open. Oh, I remember that. It's a music box. I think there's some deep secret about how to open it. I, I never could do it, but you could do it every time. Oh, it's infuriating. It's all gone. Do you know I can't remember any of it? You put the chest away the day your parents were killed. You were only five. And when you finally understood, you thought the world had come to an end. Perhaps that had something to do with it. Yes. Yes, perhaps. I brought you some of these. I baked them last night. Robert's right. You always have spoiled me. I've left some in the kitchen. You can tell Robert you baked them. Oh. <laughs> I must fly. Oh, must you? Yes. I'm due at a Red Cross subcommittee at 11.30. That terrible Commander Lewis is giving trouble again. Thinks he's running a battleship. Now, you finish your tea. I'll let myself out. All right. Mm. Give my love to Robert. I will. Bye, Liza. Bye, darling. Just a minute. What did I just say? I said the first yeah. proper meal I've ever cooked for you with my own fair hands is finally ready. And I expect a little more sense of occasion. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Hey, sorry. I was uh, seduced by your lurid past. Oh, yes. I bet you were sensational when you were five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, horsewoman. Uh -huh. Suits yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> An artist. Well, that's funny that you've done that. Oh. It's the same as the other one. Yes, yeah, well, it certainly looks like. It's identical. It's the other half of the same pair. Look. That's the left. This is the right. Yeah, it's got the same spot on each palm. Something inside this one. Is that your handwriting? I don't think so. Anyway, I don't think even I could write at five. Hmm. I think somebody's pulling our legs. And I think I've got a fairly good idea who it is. 
wedding cake, gloves, love notes. Look, you better tell your delicious bride she's been putting too much sherry in the trifle. Oh, by the way, give her my love, won't you? Hmm? No. No, nothing to do with me. Cross my heart, hope to die. All right, I believe you. Millions wouldn't. It seemed just about on your lofty level, that's all. All right, Tom. Bye. No? He says not. I still say he fancies you. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Uh, oh, that's all right. I just wasn't expecting anybody. I'm Howard Heston from the windmill. How do you do? Yes, I had heard an American had taken Now, it. I know this is a heck of a way to introduce myself, but, well, weekend visiting with neighbors is kind of a custom where I come from. I'm not quite sure of the form. Maybe I should have waited for you to call. Oh, or... no, no. Look, I was just going to make some coffee. Would you like some? Fine. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> that is your name, isn't it? Samantha. Mrs. Samantha Miller. Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> I shall give it. box. Aunt Liza thought it was. Do you know we spent hours trying to open that? How did you do it? There's a secret. Look, I'll show you. Slide this, turn the leg, and presto. Well, <laughs> but how did you know? I had something like it when I was a child. Strange, isn't it? The kind of things that one remembers from his childhood and the kind of things that one forgets. Yes. Do you take cream and sugar? Please. It's a mystery, don't you think? What's that? Being young, growing up, the child embedded in the man, like a diamond in a rock. I've never thought very much about my childhood. I don't remember much of it. I do. I, I remember everything about mine. Everything. I remember certain days, certain playmates. Oh, that's Robert, my husband. Excuse me. Yes. Howard, please. Howard, and this is my husband, Robert. Yes, I'd kind of guessed that. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Well, what'd you shoot? Oh, the uh, the high 80s. Disaster, really. Uh, there's a long one before the 12th. Uh, a dog leg with trees to the right. <laughs> <and a> sort <clears throat> of, uh, Robert, oh, yes, I'm I... sorry. Uh, perhaps Mr. Uh, Heston is a gopher. Are you? No, no, I'm afraid not. I, uh, 
I have to agree with that old bishop of yours. What's his name? Uh, he defined golf as a game of propelling a small ball into a hole with the aid of instruments singularly ill-fitted for the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's probably a rotten theologian, too. Probably. <laughs> uh, what's your line of country, Mr. Heston? My what? What do you do for your living? Oh, banking business. First Chicago Incorporated. Ah, and what does First Chicago want that we have got? I'm looking into the possibility of a few tie-ups over here. Oh, well, perhaps I can help you with some context. Thank you. That's very nice. Now, you'll stay to lunch, yes? No, no, no. I don't yes, want to be any bother. Yes, do. Do. I'll go and see how it's getting on. Uh, can I get you a drink? Your wife just gave me some coffee. Ah, oh, well, I've never heard that they're incompatible. Scotch? Fine, fine. Is that uh, car of yours as good as it looks? <laughs> it's the best. Ah, oh, well, I don't know about that. All right. I know yours is a very sophisticated animal. Cheers. Cheers. But to tell the truth, there's... There's a certain raw, brute power about that monster of mine out there that's something else. I'll take you for a spin in it. Or better yet, you take it out yourself. Well, I'd like to think you meant that. I do. I'm very serious. Well, it's a very kind offer. Thank you. No, I insist. When? Well, I haven't thought of an exact time. When... Anybody home? <laughs> oh, Aunt Liza. I'm disturbing you. No, 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 no. Of course not. You're just in time. Time? Yes, time to lunch. You are staying, aren't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Um, Howard, I'd like you to meet Eliza Meredith. Samantha's aunt and my very good friend. How do you do? Howard's bought the uh, old milk. Can I get you a drink? Just a little cherry, please. Yes, Excuse me. Are you over here for long, Mr. Heston? Well, that's hard to say. It uh, really depends on how things go. Have you been here before? No. Oh, thank you. No, and I must say, now that I've seen it, I'm sorry I waited so long. What made you choose this part of the world? Well, to tell it's the truth. Ready. But... Oh, Liza. Oh, no. royal punctuality as ever. How lovely to see you. Won't you sit down? You know something? I'm going to have to deny myself the pleasure of having lunch with you today. It was you mentioning punctuality. I've suddenly realized I made an appointment to meet a builder at the mill. Oh, that is a pity. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, perhaps some other time then, yes? Thank you, I'd like that. Yes, promise. Promise. And I always keep my promises. Don't you? Of course. Goodbye. Sorry. What was he doing here? Well, he uh, just dropped by, evidently. Hmm. Good neighbor policy. You know, the Americans are so much better at that kind of thing than we are. Nice chaps, don't you think? Yes, he certainly is. Just dropped by to make himself known. Is that all? Well, of course that's all. What's up with you, Liza? You look as if you've seen a ghost. I don't know. He seemed familiar. Can't think why. Well, because he's so friendly, so outgoing. I mean, five minutes and a chap offers to lend you his car. What? He offered to let me drive his car. You're not going to. Well, I like to think that there really is the chance, but he'll probably forget. Oh, don't worry, he won't forget. He isn't the type to forget. been through the whole thing before. Yeah, the French call it uh, déjà vu. Why, what is it you think you've seen before? Hmm? That's just it, I don't know. Yeah. But whatever it is, it's, it's something... something... <sighs> oh, now I'm just being silly. And be it more often. Did you really like him? Hmm? Who? Heston. Howard. 
Oh, yes, he seemed a nice enough chap, yeah. Anyway, we'll soon find out. What? Well, didn't he strike you as being the sort of chap who's likely to drop by often? Yes. Come on, Mrs. M. Bed. And you can really get it to 60 in just over six seconds. <laughs> I, I tell you, it's like a kick in the back. And then it just moves like a jet. Yeah, but what's she like when she gets near the limit? At the limit, a clam. A clam. No misbehavior. Yes. I think that no, I wouldn't that's kid. exactly half an hour oh. that you two have been talking about oh, motor cars. Sorry. Motor car, Howard's. And if what he says is true, it's like some kind of super beast. Oh, now, don't just take my word for it, Robert. Come on, you've been dying to try it, haven't you? And I did promise you. No, well, I couldn't really. Be my guest. Of course, if you're tired, <laughs> you're on. <laughs> Coming? No, I just spoil it for you, and I trust you. Oh, well, Samantha, how would no, I waiting while? <laughs> Sorry, my insurance will cover you to drive, and not the passenger. Ah. Besides, you've seen through my little ploy, haven't you? I'm getting rid of you so I can spend some time with Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, the way that car moves, you'll be back here in a couple of minutes. Oh, well, I wouldn't bank on that. Bye, darling. Darling, please drive carefully. Mm, of course. Take it easy. Bye. How about another drink? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Recognize him? It's an old Austin, isn't it? Yes. I made it when I was a child. I was a teddy bear girl myself. Yes, I know. The moment I saw you, I said to myself, now there's a teddy bear girl. <laughs> Did you? It's people that hold you back. You choose a path, know where you're going, what you want to do, and then they push you the other way. People. Grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yes. Oh, Samantha, haven't you ever considered how easy and just straightforward things are when you're a child? Oh, yes. The whole world's clear, it's simple, and then... And then they move in, the grown-ups. But you grow up too, don't you? Yes. Yes, that's inevitable. But if you're strong, if you're really strong, you don't forget that original purpose. You stay true to it. You have to. It's like first love, Samantha. You never really forget that, do you? No. No, I suppose not. I knew you hadn't. For a while back, back in the States, I was, I was ill. Nothing serious. I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. But I had a lot of time on my hands. Time to think and time to remember. <laughs> that's a, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Not the memories. They, they've always been so sweet. To remember and and not be able and and not be able to have or to touch because of people getting in your way. I'm sorry, I don't I don't understand. It's it's simple, really. If someone gets in your way, don't let them. <laughs> It's not true. I won't believe it. It isn't true. It can't be true. It can't be true, Liza. I won't believe it. I won't believe it.
I don't know, I just... I just feel so, so responsible, but he was used to fast cars. That'll be the doctor. Let him in. Doctor. Oh, sweetie. Now I've got you. Oh, Where's the bedroom? I'll show you. How would you expect? I think it would be better if you left. She shouldn't be left alone. She won't be alone. I shall stay with her. I'm all she's got now. Yes. Yes, you are. When she quiets down, I'd like to explain. I shouldn't think she'd want you anywhere near her. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. He was an experienced driver. It's not fair to blame me. That may well be true. But life very often isn't fair. There's no logic in these things, Mr. Heston. Quite frankly, I wish this family had never laid eyes on you. Good day. Samantha, I, I had to see you with, without your aunt. She, she, she blames me. It wasn't your fault. Oh, I, I, know, I know, but I, I, I feel involved all the same, and, and I want to help. You should get away from here. Leave, leave this house. I've got some place you could go, and I'd be happy to take That won't be necessary, Mr. Heston. It's all arranged. Samantha's coming away with me at the end of the week after the funeral. We should be leaving the country for a while. Leaving the country? I think it best. And I'd be obliged if you wouldn't come here again before we leave. <sighs> I'd, I'd like to hear what Samantha has to say Isn't about that. Isn't it time you went back to America? Surely your bank must be missing you. My, my project isn't finished yet. You did say it was first Chicago, didn't you? Funny. A friend of mine does a lot of business with them. He says they can't quite recollect you. Well, it's, it's a large company. There are many divisions. No doubt. And now, if you'll excuse us, I don't think we shall be seeing you again. Samantha, if, if you need anything, please call me. Is this the last of them? Yes, Tom. Uh, this will have to go on the back seat, this one. I think I was moving house instead of just going on a trip. Women's privilege. God bless them.
All stowed away, Princess. Thank you, Tom. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done without you. Are you sure you wouldn't like me to run you to the airport? Quite sure. Aunt Liza's just locking up her house and then she'll come along and collect me. All right, fine. I'll be off then. Bye. Bye. Sammy. You know? Tom. Terribly sorry, but with carbon monoxide but, poisoning. But I don't understand how it could have happened. I must ask you, can you think of anyone who'd want to do this? To Aunt Liza? Oh, no. No, no, I can't. Yes. Yes, darling, I'm here. What is it?
Hello? Samantha? Yes. It's Howard. Howard Heston. Samantha, I've I've found out something about Robert's crash. I, I don't think it was an accident. Now I've I've phoned Sergeant Sullivan. He's coming by. Can can you get over here right away? All right. Fine. Fine. We'll be waiting. Samantha Miller, Sergeant, I thought she should be here. I took the liberty. You may say it's a coincidence, but it seems darn funny to me. I mean, I mean, I know this is England. Mr. Heston! Up here, Samantha. Top of the stairs. Mr. Heston. Mr. Heston. I'm here, Samantha. You must find me. Hide and see. Hide and see. Where are you? Where's Sergeant Sullivan? You said he was here. I'm afraid he couldn't come after all, but never mind, he'd only have spoiled it. Hider seekers. Finders, keepers, come and find me, Samantha. Oh, now you're cold. You're very cold. This is mad. Warm. Warmer. Warmer. Oh, got me! What happened? 
What on earth are you doing? <laughs> Where's Sergeant Sullivan? Guess. What's this news you have to tell me? Guess. I dare you to guess. Oh, Mr. Hess. Oh, come on now. You can, you can do better than that. Oh, for heaven's sake. that door you don't you don't really want it open sammy mr heston will you please open that door and you know my name is not heston either what what are you talking about try darcy giles darcy Now you're being cruel to me, Samantha. You could be very cruel to me sometimes. Now you must, you must remember. Cats in his cradle, cats in his cradle. Who'll wake him up? Who'll wake him up? Giles Darcy. He was my friend, years ago. I was more than that, Samantha. Much more. But you're not Giles. You couldn't be. Giles was different. Giles was English. People change, Samantha. Their appearance, I mean, they don't, they don't change in any other way. And as for the accent, well, that depends where one's lived for the last 20 years. Giles went away. Was it to America? <laughs> you remember, see? See, it's all coming back. <laughs> see? Now, come on. Come on, try. What, what else do you remember, Sammy? Nothing. Oh, come on. Come on, try. Try. What else? Nothing. Now, come on, you got to remember. You, you, you can't have forgotten our, our love. I haven't. I haven't not, not for a second. You remember? You remember the place in the garden? Hmm? Remember the secret place? The secret place that nobody else knew about? We went there the day of your birthday party. And we swore a blood knot, a sacred oath, that we'd never be parted. We promised to love each other forever and ever and ever. We mingled our blood, Samantha. We mingled our blood. Now, oh, no oath can be more sacred than that. I swore I'd kill anyone who tried to take you away from me. Yes. Well, we each kept one, don't you remember? And it was, it was just wonderful. It, it was a symbol, Sammy. And I swore I was going to marry you and, and I'd build an ivory tower for you and I'd, I'd keep you in there like a, like a princess, all to myself, j just for me. Look, look, Sammy. Look, I ivory. All of it, I, I, Ivory, and I, I just have thought about this moment for so long. I, can you imagine, Sammy, how I, how I felt when I came back and I found you about to betray me? Can you? Giles. Giles, we were children. I was five years old. Uh, I wanted, I, I wanted to. Kill you. I, that's it's. It's terrible. I, but, but see, then I. Th th then I. Then I realized that it. It wasn't your fault. Oh no! It wasn't yours. Oh no! It, it was theirs. 
It was theirs. It was, it was his and hers. Your husband and your aunt. They were the ones. It was them that were taking you away from me. So I realized I, I just have to kill them. Just as I killed your parents. My parents? Well, they, they were talking of moving, Sammy. They, they were going to move to another part of the country. I'd have lost you and I, I, I couldn't let that happen. But don't you remember we, we played with the car in the garage? And I knew a lot about cars. I just got interested in them. Don't, don't, don't you remember that day? Well, see, see, I, I, I told you, Sammy. But you, you never understood. And, and that's what, what hurt the most. You didn't, you didn't know what I'd done for you. of me and my friend that my parents weren't there anymore but my mind couldn't cope with it so, so I, I suppose I must have blotted it out but I remember now they found out what I'd done and I was sent away to a, to a special school, a special school, where they could cure me, cure me. You see, there was, there was never anything wrong with me. I, I was just in love, and, and they, they, they just couldn't see, see that. So I, I let them cure me. And it it, it it took a long, a long time. It took a long time to to work out what what it was that they meant by by cure. But boy, when I finally figured out what it was that they wanted, what they wanted from me, <laughs> I I gave it to them. I did. I, I, I gave it to him, Sammy. <laughs> that was very clever of you. <laughs> very clever. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm afraid I must be going now. Um, because I've got a lot of people waiting for me. And <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, Sammy. They, there's, there's nobody waiting for you. No, nobody knows you're here. And, 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 and you're, you're safe. Oh, you're safe. And, and, and you're mine. You're mine. For, for now and, and, and for always. And, and oh, I've learned I've learned my lesson. No one's, no one's gonna come between us. Oh, let them try. Let them try. If they do, if they try, we'll go somewhere where, where they can't follow. See? No. No. Huh? No, Giles. No. Well, it, 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 it's all right. Wes, this is our... Our world now, Sammy. This is our world. Do you like it? Huh? Do you like it? Please say you like it. And, and you'll see. You'll see, Sammy. We'll have, we'll have such fun, just, just like we used to. Oh, now, I've got all your favorite things. I, I do. Come on, come on, look. See? And, 
and the dresses and the doll and, and, and all I want, Sammy, is just, just what you like. Just, just say you like. No, 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 I don't like it. No, no, I, I don't like any of it. It's all, it's all horrid. It's all horrid. It's all horrid. What? 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 Tell me, I'll change it. It's all in the wrong place. What is? Well, what is? That mirror, that mirror there behind you. This one. Yes, that's it. If you put it over there, that would be much better over right there. Over there, that's right. Much better. Yes. yes. All right. And then. Is that okay? And then that chair. See that chair there behind yes. you? All right. Yes. Where do you want no. it? No, not there. Um, there. Right. Behind me. Okay. Okay, it's see. I'll, I'll, I'll change anything. Uh, anything. Well, all that ivory, see? On the dressing table. Yeah. All that ivory. Oh, all that horrid. Okay. I hate it. I hate it all. Um. What else? Oh, the doll. Oh, that, 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 the doll. doll. I, 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 that's your... I hate it. Well, I never want to see it again, I... ever. Sammy, that... That was your favorite doll! Sammy!